none of this is right. Mom? What's wrong? I'm here. Everything's all right. Do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side of the road. I mean, the left. The left side is the right side. The scaffold was high, and eternity was near. Is that a hitchhiker? we don't pick up hitchhikers. Eyes on the road, Maddie.
guess we're here. Oof. Creepy doorbell. Good sign. Hello! I'm here! <sighs> no way I've come all the way out here and nobody's home. Let me in, please! Hello? Is anybody here? Better look around, see if I can find anyone. Really digging these creepy cottage core vibes. <laughs> Looking forward to doing business with you. Huh. That's today. Hmm. Didn't see any other cars out there. Someone's got to be around. Uh, hello? Not going to find anyone in there, I guess. Well, this must be the place. Hello! Another victim! Uh, hello... victim? Just a little dry British humor. Oh, you're... British? No. But spend a little while in a charming country house like this, and it kind of rubs off on you. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? 
Uh, Maddie. Well, it's nice to meet you, Maddie. Uh, short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah, okay. Uh, like the Avenue. Like, oh, in New York. Greatest city in the world. <laughs> Ever been? Oh, yeah, it's where I live. I mean, it's where I lived. But now I kind of live in Berlin, or, well, I go to school in Berlin. So I'm not technically a citizen there or anything. And New York is still kind of my home because, you know, it's New York City and, like, once a New Yorker, always a New Yorker, you know? Well, Madison Avenue. Now that you're here, it seems like the party can finally get started. <laughs> uh, well, not much of a party. Oh, uh, yeah, you're telling me. This place is like super duper creep town, right? It's not just me. I was taking a look around before and let's just say I'm surprised it hasn't been condemned by the local authorities. Yikes. Lights don't even seem to work right. How do you mess up lights? That's like basic modernity, right? Right. Yep. The state of this place doesn't exactly reflect well on our mysterious host. Hey. Linda Castle. I am honored, no, humbled, to make your acquaintance. Hi, hi. It is truly a great pleasure to be graced by your presence. Okay, sure. Likewise. It's not every day you get to meet one of your all-time favorite horror filmmakers face to face and shake their hand. I would have gotten here sooner, but my car broke down and I just couldn't get anybody to stop for me. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> You know what? Don't worry. I needed the exercise. Wait, wait, hold up. Are you saying that you saw the Linda Castle stranded on the side of the road and, and you didn't stop? Uh, yeah. This is the director of my mother, my father, my blood. Nerve biter. Blade Skinner? Dismember, dismember the 25th of December. <laughs> I had no idea who she was. That's no excuse! Hey, you're a horror filmmaker. I thought, like, number one rule of horror movies was never pick up hitchhikers. Actually, it's never have sex. <laughs> but uh, no one has sex in movies anymore anyways. Fair enough. I probably wouldn't have picked me up either. <clears throat> it is a classic trope. I don't use tropes in my films. I use archetypes. Right. Yes. <laughs> Very smart. Maybe our host has left something out for us. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it involves money and fast cars and trading. But well, nothing illegal, obviously. Oh, obviously. <laughs> 